Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to talk about all the plants that I bought in May, which has been quite a lot actually. I don't know what this whole like COVID-19 thing is doing to me, but it's making me buy a whole lot of plants. So I thought why not share with you guys because I'm sure you guys enjoy lots of plant hauls to watch. And yeah, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, let's get started. So first, I'll probably go with my biggest plant which is this guy here. So this is my Stromanthe Trio Star. It's um, in the prayer plant Calathea type family. Uh, it's one of my first ones, so hoping this does well. So far it's doing okay. Not any extra crisping on the tips. And I have this right beside my humidifier and it has the most gorgeous leaves. Look at that. And the backs are so hot, hot pink and just absolutely stunning. I have one new growth over there. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's right here, this little piece. And yeah, not much more to say about this. I like it. It doesn't seem to be too fussy as people are saying and it's been doing okay. I got this at my local nursery and it's in a six inch pot. I think maybe about $18 or something like that. It's been great. Next up, I have my Alocasia Friedek, which you guys have seen in my most recent video where I repotted this guy. So it actually used to be a lot bigger and I separated all the little pups. So this is how it's looking like right now. That is its newest leaf. So velvety, so big. A head test, it's pretty much the size of my face. And I see a new leaf coming out already. Can you tell? this little piece so yeah uh this one might be one of my most favorite plants uh let me show you all the little babies baby number one baby number two baby number three so i've actually sold all of these already i had one girl who just wanted to buy all of them <laughs> so i didn't even get a chance to post it online and she just wanted it so i'm gonna give them to her tomorrow and I'm just gonna keep my parent plant and that's that's it about this guy. Got this also at a local nursery. This one is a bit pricier. It's about $40. I don't know if allocation products are supposed to be $40, but I really can pass it up. And because I had so many pups in here, why not? Okay, next up I have this guy. So this one I actually keep in my mom's room because she really liked it. So pretty much gave it to her but this is my string of hearts it's my how do you say the plant name Sarah serpegia woody eye something like that but it's just the regular kind I like how when I get sun stressed the backs of the leaves kind of turn a pinkish purple color and there's actually a lot of flowers on this one so I guess it's really happy but my cat loves playing with this just always tries to like claw at the little strands so my mom keeps trying to t like curl them up so that she doesn't get a hold of it but this one is really easy to grow we have it in a south facing window with like um a curtain so it doesn't get like too direct sunlight since it's right up against the window and i think it's been really happy there kind of sad i don't get to see it every single day but that's okay this one was a really good buy. It's in a pretty big pot. I think it might be like a five inch pot. And I think it was about $14 or something like that, which I would say is a good deal in Canada if you ask me. But moving on, my next one is my Alocasia Silver Dragon. Look at that leaf. It's just a little baby. So um, it only has two leaves both of which are hardened off. So I'm just gonna wait for the next leaf to come out. And what I found with this guy is that it really likes turning towards the light. So as you can see, it looks really lopsided right now. Like it's just turning one way, but I swear a couple days ago, it was like completely upright. But yeah, I have to make sure I'm constantly turning this guy because I have it against the windowsill. So um, only one side of the plant gets light, so I make sure to turn it all the time. And I find that's very common with a lot of my alocasias. It just kind of grows towards the light. And 
you want to make sure you give it even lighting but this one has been really easy as well uh this one i think was about 30 dollars which i wouldn't say it's cheap for this size because it only has two leaves but i'm very excited for it to grow and i don't know i'm just really into alocasia recently i was debating on getting one of the alocasia black velvet but they were looking a little beat up at the nursery to be honest so i didn't really want to risk it and have to rehab it as well because i have some ethereums that i'm already rehabbing so let me show you guys those so this one is my anthurium crystallinum that i'm rehabbing right now and really loving this guy although it looks a little bit beat up but i'm gonna nurse it back to health so that'll be okay i see new leaf kind of uh emerging so it will just be a matter of time before it comes out and there's actually a kind of a root sticking out over here you see right here so i think the roots are getting a lot more established so i'm really happy i keep this in my humidity box which it's been loving and no more updates about this guy but my other anthurium crystallinum i have it in this glass case here which is actually a fish tank so don't judge me it looks a little bit better than my last setup actually so this one is my other anthurium clair uh, sorry anthurium crystallinum as you can see it has a new leaf kind of unfurling and that one has no damage so i'm clearly doing something right and um i just have the opening of the fish tank covered in some saran wrap so that light can still get through but we keep the humidity high because that's what we want and it's really hard to see the back leaf oh i guess you could still kind of see it yeah so there's one big leaf over there um and then two leaves facing this way and uh, i've been really liking this guy i'm constantly staring at this new leaf it came out so so tiny and it's just like getting bigger every single day i'm just so amazed it's it's ridiculous i've never had any of my other plants do that where it comes out super super tiny and then it grows humongous over the next couple of days plus the stem actually gets really big as well let me put this down gently don't want to break it let's go on to my pride and joy which is my monstera Thai constellation this little baby i've shown you guys also in a recent video about how this was one of my wish list plants so very excited this is the um, uh, newest leaf i mean it didn't come out in my care but this is the newest leaf and then these are the other two leaves that came with this plant i mean they're all gorgeous and as you can see there's a leaf popping out back there and this is a really slow grower honestly i mean i think it's been like over a week and this leaf is finally out of its like little sheath thing at the bottom and it, i mean it's probably gonna be another like week or two before it even unfurls so i would say this is a little bit slower than my other one sarah but i'm not worried because as long as it's doing something i'm not complaining and i just have like a little piece of velcro kind of holding the plant together so that it doesn't splay out as much i just kind of like the more upright look but you guys do whatever you want and I like how it's a stable variegation plant and that's really important to me because my other plant as you guys know the pink princess that one's unstable variegation and it's just causing all sorts of stress so this one has been a lot better for me and really liking it oh let me show you the free plant i got so he actually threw in some cuttings it was one rooted cutting of a philodendron brio and i ended up chopping it all up so that i can make a kind of fuller plant so i have some unrooted cuttings and one rooted cutting inside this pot so that's how it's looking like right now the leaves are so beautiful um it's like a more muted version of the philodendron brazil which i don't have that one just because i'm I don't know. I don't really like the super yellow variegation on the Brazil. So I like this kind of more silvery Rio better. But that's just my own opinion on it. And I haven't seen the Philodendron Rio around in local nurseries, but the Brazil is definitely a lot more common. So I'm really happy with this guy. Can't believe he gave it to me for free. What a sweet guy. I love like the plant community.
Next up, I have my Discidia russifolia. So this one is the more commonly known as Million Hearts. So the leaves look like little hearts, as you guys can see. It's quite a bushy plant. I mean, it's not like super long trailing, but I would say it has quite a few stems and don't know what that is, but this one is a really fast grower. It honestly doesn't need much. I put it uh, at my north facing window. So right up against the window on the windowsill and it's been loving it so far. I've only had this for a few days and it's my first Dyskidia. So the only reason why I really got a Dyskidia is because it's so close to Hoyas. So it's pretty much like a Hoya cousin and you guys know I love my Hoyas, which I saved the best for last. And yeah, I'm really excited for this guy just to see how crazy, sorry, saw a fungus and it just blew soil everywhere. But yeah, I can't wait for this guy to grow and really happy I found this one. Uh, it's not as common to find Dyskidias in my local nurseries. So this one I drove pretty far for, but last but not least, I have my Hoyas. So first one I'm going to show you, these are pretty common Hoyas. Don't get me wrong, I'm waiting for Crystal Star to have their next restock, which is in June. So stay tuned for the June haul because I'm going to get a whole lot of Hoyas for that. This one is my Hoya uh, Numeloides. It's a very difficult name to say, but it's the pink Corona. So I think the flowers should come out pink if it were to ever bloom for me. And it has very just like plain foliage as some would say but i just love how fuzzy it is and it's really really like waxy i would say it's like probably harder than my hoya carnosa crimson queen so i would say it's in between like a carrii and a um carnosa i don't know i love fuzzy plants and i hear this is an easy hoya so i love my easy hoyas and i just have this in a cute little terracotta pot my four inch and this was only 13 dollars got this from Vandermeer. Love it. Last but not least, I think this is my last plant. This one is my Hoya Kentiana and to be honest, I don't really know the difference between a Kentiana and a Weyedii. Um, I think they look very similar in my opinion, but I'm loving how it's sun stressed. It has like the dark borders, the new leaves are coming out really red and it's just absolutely amazing and yeah I can't wait for this one to grow it's kind of just all on one side kind of awkward to be honest but I think once it starts growing and it's inside my humidity box so once it starts growing I think it'll kind of fill out a little bit better I mean otherwise I'd probably just snip it and fill the tops with the propagations but for now I'm not gonna cut it because just gonna let it be so that concludes my may haul that was a lot of plants i think that was like 11 plants or something like that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye